Hey friends and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I figured that we would uh, we would take a walk around and uh, take a look at some trees. Uh, I've been super busy the last couple weeks uh, just trying to get everything set up and uh, uh, you know finished and uh, I haven't really had time to uh, film but uh, figured I would uh, get the camera out and uh, take a walk around and uh, show you guys everything. So figured I would get started with this tree here. Uh, this was uh, air layer. It's an, it's an elm I collected uh, earlier this year. And uh, just uh, the air layer took and uh, there was a bunch of roots and uh, just got it cut up and uh, planted in this pot. So uh, just have it in the garage here just to settle in and uh, I'll put it outside here uh, in a day or two. So, but it looks pretty good. Nice little elm. So let's take a walk in the back and see what we got. So we'll start over here. Here I got a bunch of uh, maple seeds going. Here's another uh, air layer I took from uh, the front tree. And uh, it's a nice big air layer. And uh, it's holding up pretty well. So nice maple. It's looking pretty damn good. So here is a uh, spruce, got it styled up, have it sitting in the shade here because it's been so hot out, it's been over 90s easily. So I have it sitting out here in the shade. Here is that uh, semi-cascade uh, white pine. The one that we did in a previous video. Here are those seedlings I had going. So you can see them starting to take pretty well. All new growth here. So they're doing pretty well. Here's another uh, air layer I took in from the front tree. So that's doing pretty well. These are uh, U, U clippings uh, that I did. And uh, those are just starting to pop up and uh, showing signs of new growth. So, but check out this maple here. Pretty, uh, pretty cool, nice size trunk on it. P really good air layer. So here we have a pine, uh, Korean pine. Nice literati style, pretty cool. Here we have a spruce, I'm going to be uh, wiring up here pretty soon I just got to go uh, pick up some wire uh, from our uh, bonsai store here in the area so here's a uh, lace uh, maple doing pretty well Here is uh, the red uh, red pine. So I had uh, just cut the uh, the new uh, shoots, the new growth this year. So should be getting a second flush. Should uh, start be seeing a second flush here pretty soon. An oak, 
This one I collected this year uh, out of my dad's friend's property. And this tree's doing freaking awesome. Same with this one. This one I did a video on it earlier, uh, a couple videos back where uh, I did that severe uh, cut on it. But look how good it's looking now. It just uh, did another flush of growth, so the second flush this year, and uh, it shot up pretty well. So really excited for the future of this, uh, this oak here. Here is uh, that yew tree. You guys could see how uh, how good it's doing, how well. Looking pretty good. So this one, we'll, uh, we'll cut it back here uh, in a video coming up. Uh, here is uh, an air layer I did uh, on this elm. This one I collected, and you could see how there was no growth on the bottom of this, uh, this tree or underneath this air layer, and now it just sprouted up. So... Uh, after I cut it, I'll be able to have uh, another tree down here as well. But uh, I, I wired this up and uh, I said um, I might as well just uh, air layer it. And these take, you know, these uh, do pretty well with air layers. So uh, they root pretty quick too. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, be cutting this one here pretty soon. Uh, when I start seeing some uh, some root growth, I don't think I really have anything yet. So here's that uh, hickory, another literati style. Look at all that dead uh, the dead feature. Uh, this one I collected too. You can see the new uh, some new buds tr trying to pop up here, but I sort of like it this style. Uh, the way it is right now and uh, here's the savage pine also known as the jacks pine I really like this tree but I don't know what I want to do with it uh, I don't know if I just want to cut it here and uh, make a tree with this right here but it looks pretty good right now uh, and I'm just gonna keep it like this so here are some more seedlings that I got going on here Nothing has popped up yet. I just uh, did them not too long ago. And uh, here's another Korean pine. Um, and a white pine here. This one I did in that video. And uh, it's coming along. Looking pretty good. Here is uh, Hinoki cypress starting to uh, get some new growth on here which when I got this tree I was kind of worried about it it was just severely dried out and burnt so but it's coming along another uh, clipping uh, elm clipping a blueberry and uh, honey locust seedlings these uh, grew this year, and look at all the growth on them. Those are doing freaking awesome. So let's take a walk up here on the deck. So here's that uh, Scott's Pine. Here's uh, the other part of the elm, the one that's in the garage. This is the other part of it here. And there was no growth on the bottom here. When I did that air layer, uh, it shot up with growth under here, which was uh, pretty cool. It's my first year doing air layers. So, here is uh, the holly, uh, winterberry holly. This is uh, my dad's favorite tree here. Here's some more uh, honey locust seedlings. Shimpaku Juniper Alberta Spruce Once these uh, harden up a little bit we'll be able to uh, wire them down right now you can see them just shooting up towards that Sun Here's another uh, Shimpaku here Another uh, Scott's Pine 
This one uh, I repotted uh, just right before spring and I was kind of worried it had all that uh, uh, the needles had turned brown and I was worried that it was going to die and uh, but it came along pretty well so I just let it grow and I uh, wasn't worried about uh, keeping the shoot smaller or anything so uh, sort of let it grow and you could see how elongated the shoots got so uh, but next year we'll be on top of it and uh, you know make sure that they're uh, nice and small and we'll reduce the size in the fall we'll be able to uh, do the energy selection and go through this tree and uh, this was the black pine the one that we got and I did a video on unbending the trunk here and uh, look at all the growth on this tree just look at it so many new buds unbelievable unbelievable so August uh, August I think August I forgot when but uh we'll do our shoot selection on this tree and uh, needle pluck and uh, here is a uh, another maple uh blood blood something that's a variety blood uh i don't know what it is bloodhound i'm not sure um but doing an air layer on this as well uh, just because it's grafted and i tried to uh get one that wasn't really that bad as a graft because you have to be really careful because if the graft is bad it will always be bad it will never get better so uh, just in case I air layered it and uh, I could throw this in the yard, let it thicken up and do what it wants to do and uh, I'll grow the other part of this and uh, see how it goes. Uh, that one, that maple, that lace leaf that I have in the yard is a, uh, is a graft as well, but that one you can't really notice it. That's a really good one. And uh, in a couple years I'll put that in a pot. So uh here is another scots pine and uh this is one of my favorites here so i really love this tree so let's take a walk on the side of the house i planted that other uh yew tree on the side and uh got it all bent up and uh shaped to uh, where it could just grow in the ground and I could just clip it and when I'm ready to take it out I'll uh, pull it out and uh, get it into a pot uh, be in a couple years but uh, it's always good to do that uh, get some trees in the ground and let them develop so here I have uh, native junipers uh, native to uh, Illinois little uh, seedlings here is a uh, eastern uh, white pine here and uh, twin trunk so developing this in the ground here is a uh, uh, juniper uh, nana or a green mountain juniper I'm not really sure I think it's the nana and uh, here's a yew tree so what I'm doing here is I'm growing these so it could uh, just fill up here in this section. I'll grow this really long and then uh, make this a deadwood once this thickens up a little bit. Make this into a deadwood feature. And uh, yeah, that's the way I want to style this tree. So figure out what we're going to do with the back. Here will be uh, a juniper uh, a shimpaku uh, I don't know, this one I showed you guys in that video where I bent it up. Bent it really, like a whole bunch. In the trunk line there. Everything's really bent up. And uh, just planted it in the ground. And uh, once it thickens up, we'll see what we want to do with it. But uh, it's doing pretty well, you guys can see. Here is a uh, another Scots Pine I got from... Uh, Chris from the Botanical Garden. He runs the Chicago Botanical Garden. He gave me this tree. So I put it in the ground to uh, grow. 
and it really just took off this year so looking pretty good and uh, here's another uh, juniper that I got in the ground here will be a cascading you could see some of it died but uh, no big deal we got a branch back there so got another couple more trees here in the ground so here's another eastern uh, white pine so we'll let this uh, thicken up here on the ground and uh, this one I planted last year so we'll let it thicken up for a bunch more years and uh, we'll put it into a pot and uh, we'll have uh, you know somewhat of a native uh, tree here uh, to be a bonsai tree over here is another uh, eastern white pine this one's doing pretty well too the size of it really took off so really excited with these trees here I love pines pines are my one of my favorites probably uh, my top favorite is a pine uh, whether that be a Scots or a Black. Let's see if we got anything else. I don't know, everything is uh, starting to fill up here pretty good. So, I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this uh, little walkthrough and uh put out a bunch of more videos here for you guys and uh yeah we'll catch you guys on the next one peace